Good morning, folks. We've got twin solar tornadoes coming over the southeastern limb into view. Eyes open for coronal cavities today where their magnetism carves out a curve in the corona. We'll see a solid volcano eruption today. Break down the current space weather storm ongoing at Earth. Got a neat little paper and some sprite footage, but we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're going to find the last day on our star was about the same as the last few very quiet in terms of eruptions, and the solar flaring remains low as well, despite us having some sunspots. Total spread in the central grouping, but the active region on the right turning out of view grew like a California wildfire over the last day as the earth-facing quiet stamped the parole sheet and unlocked the gate. Eyes open for a burst as it exits. But we don't have to wait for space weather stories. You see the speed of the solar wind in yellow shooting up as the corona hole stream begins to impact Earth. Note the bulge in orange density just beforehand as the speedy particles catch up to slower ones out ahead of them and bunch them up like snow on a shovel blade. In green, we see about a 15,000 degree ion temperature jump over 100,000 degrees. The storm at Earth is low level only, as expected, and no major disruptions are expected from it. Speaking of coronal holes, though, if you follow on Twitter, you know we did not see reason to re-engage or extend the watch last night for earthquakes. We're looking ahead to the next uptick towards the end of the week and into the weekend, as the negative southern openings are about to give way to a transequatorial portion of positive north. You might remember it was only a four-day alert, which is more than 40% harder to hit the location. Remember when we list three locations, we expect activity at at least two of them, and we had the six-pointer strike Vanuatu, and in the American red zone, we saw the Turrialba volcano let loose about 18 hours before the end of the watch. Remember, volcano eruptions can count as well, and if you use the 2,000-meter ash or smoke level, which this eruption beat easily, they strike far less often than magnitude 6 earthquakes. Not good for your air filter there. Anyway, folks, we're up to nine total location-based earthquake forecasts, and you can find the background information and charted data at spaceweathernews.com challenge at the top link. Next to last page, you can click a link to a much shorter two-page summary, which is also helpful. We're not done yet, folks. This paper describes magnetic cycles on the sun, and it's very interesting to see how we came out of the last grand minimum and into the current maximum that peaked at the turn of the millennium. Also have an incredible jellyfish sprite photographed over the Caribbean. Little dose of high-energy atmospheric phenomena this morning. Check the system in the East Pacific. Baja better be ready because the only uncertainty is where it goes after it strikes their coastlines. That and the system near Virginia on the East Coast present the top alerts here tonight, but I'm going to run this until tomorrow night as well. Tornado threats returning to the Midwest. Eyes open. New videos coming by the day over at our house right now. Yelverton's Lab and Deeper Look episodes. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.